Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the Waterman Checkbook Pen, which is their smallest production fountain pen. So let's get into this little tiny pen. This is the Waterman Checkbook Pen in black hard rubber. This little tiny pen was originally $2.50. Purchased it from the Fountain Pen Hospital. Originally, they accidentally sent me a Parker Click Filler and I got to play with that pen for a day. I didn't ink it up or anything like that. I, it wasn't mine, but it was a, a fun little mistake. It's okay. I sent that one back and they overnighted me this pen. So I finally have this little tiny pocket pen. It's only three and a half inches in length when it's capped. And it is just this tiny little thing with this flared cap. They made two pens that were very similar. There was this one, the checkbook pen. There's another one called the baby pen, which was meant for children or for quick note taking. And these did not sell very well just because they aren't very practical. There's no clip on it. There's no ring top to be able to clip it onto a chain. So people tended to not really buy these. And because of it, they are super rare. Has the number two sized Waterman's Ideal New York nib on there with those really long tines. It's actually not a flex nib. I mean, there's some semi-flex to it, but it's not meant to be a flex nib little tiny feed it also has patent dates on it it's just hard to see it is a little tiny eyedropper pen so you just unscrew this it has a really long feed and you fill that up and there's your little tiny checkbook pen this is from the collection of gary lair who uh, passed away in december found pen hospital is selling a lot of his pens as the gary lair legacy collection and i have several of gary's pens now this is the first one i'm featuring on my youtube channel and it's just this cute little pen uh, for those of you that don't know gary wrote a book along with max davis and it was waterman past and present the first six decades and there are a couple different volumes of this book. There's one full book that has all of the ink bottles and ephemera. You can still buy these online. But here's the checkbook pen. It came in black hard rubber, cardinal, as well as sterling silver and cardinal and sterling and black, and as well as a modeled, which must have been a custom order because it wasn't something that you could find on here. According to this, it says it was made from 1905 to 1915, but I doubt it actually made it that long but they are tiny, tiny little pens. Give you an idea of how small these pens are. I mean, like I said, three and a half inches in length. Here is a comparison with the, this is a 452 and a half in Sterling. This is the Duchesse or Art Deco model. And it is smaller than that. Here is a Caveco Sport, it's smaller than that. This is a 52 and a half V with Ruth McNary side of it. And it's much smaller than that one. And that is a tiny little pen as it is. And then here is just my Lamy 2000, just as comparison. And here they are posted, give you an idea of just how small this pen is. Very, very, very small little pen. Uh, I have little, little tiny hands, but I definitely can't use this one unposted. I mean, I could, but it's not, <laughs> not great unposted, but just a really cool, that imprint is, perfect. There are no other markings. There's nothing on the barrel end. You just know by looking at this pen that it is the checkbook pen. You very faintly can see that August 4 patent date. And now we are going to do a little writing sample. So I'll show you how this thing writes. I'm not going to eyedrop or fill it or anything like that. I'm just going to use Waterman's Inspire Blue ink. I'm just do a little dip test with it. As you can see, like it definitely has flex to it compared to like, a modern pen, but for as long as those tines are, it's not the most flexible. I mean, it, it definitely is. But comparing it to like the Waterman's Pink, it's just not as flexible. Still great flex, still an awesome rider. And it was just a dip test, so of course there's gonna be some railroading there. But yeah, super awesome, great writer. I mean, it's a tiny little pen, so it's not it's not the most practical. But I'm super proud to own one and have it in my collection. My collection has grown really from 10 to 12 random Waterman pens to having this. One of my friends said the other day that my collection was world class, and I go, aw. He goes, no, really, Craig, you 
This is a world-class collection you have now. I'm happy to keep the legacy of Gary alive, continue to, you know, educate and show off these pens that he curated and collected for so many years. And I'm proud to do the same thing here. I'm just so thankful to have this cool, cute little pen in my collection. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking it out, you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this. And you guys, this week coming up is the San Francisco Pen Show. I'm so excited. I get to hang out with my buddy, David Garcia, my friend Troy. I'm just so excited to see all my friends there. If you're coming, please stop by and hang out. Let's talk pens. While I'm there, we will be doing a live video. Uh, me and David, I'm gonna have David talk a little bit about making parts for vintage pens. He's been doing a lot of that lately. I'm gonna try and walk around and live stream some of the show as well so you guys can get a little bit of a idea of what's going on while we're there. As well as I'm gonna be making a vlog. As you've known from my LA video, I don't really know how to vlog. As you've known from my Orange County pen hangout videos, I don't know how to vlog but I'm gonna make a video recapping the entire weekend. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited just even about the little six hour drive up to the Bay Area with my pal Troy. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So check out my Instagram at Creek Rockanova and I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.